Hey there, everybody. <clears throat> As most of you know, my family's gone through a very personal, tragic loss of one of our sons uh, this past week. Uh, <clears throat> and I can't express just as you couldn't express to me uh, any true thoughts of, of comfort. Knowing you were there was important to us. I can't express the appreciation that I have for everybody who reached out. I tried to respond very briefly to folks. And <clears throat> I know that I probably failed somewhere. And some of you, please don't, please don't be hurt that, that I didn't, that I wasn't able to reach out like I wanted to. It's been a very, very difficult seven days. Uh, it was seven days ago this morning when I got a phone call while I was in Tunica with my good friend Jeff and some of the other group, Chris Demon Dog and several other guys were there with us. So, <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, our, our middle, middle oldest, I guess, son uh, was killed in a tragic car accident where he was ejected uh, from an open-top Jeep in a roll uh, down the interstate. And... We are thankful that he did not suffer. And we are thankful also for all of your prayers. And I appreciate everyone understanding that, you know, hey, family's first. So we're still in shock. Uh, we're not yet able to really comprehend what all we've been through in the last week because it was a whirlwind. We had a lot of <clears throat> personal details that we had to take care of, uh, but we did memorialize his life this last Friday with full military honors. He was a veteran of the Alabama National Guard, and he was deployed twice. He spent 12 months in Afghanistan a so-called over-deployment, but the, the Army does what the Army does, as is the relief unit was not prepared to come in at the time they were supposed to. So he did get to spend a whole lot of time in the mountains and villages of Afghanistan, and he was very well decorated for his service there. And then he was also deployed sometime later uh, in the Middle East, where he was also decorated. So I honor his life, and I honor, uh, honor him more from a military perspective and as a son. Uh, but let me tell you, folks, the demons of war always stay with people. And some people handle them differently than others, and some people handle them more normally, I guess. Our son was not one to dwell on it. He was not one to seek proper help, I suppose. He wanted to be the tough soldier. And his unit was already preparing for his next deployment. Uh, not known as to when that would actually be, probably next year, but they were already in preparations. The Army was there in full force. His unit was brought in from their summer camp and the sergeant in charge of the color guard 
actually had been deployed with him in the Middle East and was the one that gave his son, 18 years old, uh, the folded flag at the end of the ceremony. My wife and I are crushed, uh, especially my wife. I'm more lost. She's crushed. But thank you all for understanding. Thank you to those that reached out, and I apologize if I was unable to respond. Uh, life is short. Life is fragile. If you're going to drive in an open-top vehicle, please be careful. Things happen. Someone merged into his lane. He overcorrected, hit his brakes, and went into a tumble down the interstate. And he was ejected. So <clears throat> just know that, you know, I know I'm changed for life now. I can just feel it. I'm changed. I'll gradually come back maybe to some of my old ornery self, but right now I'm quite humble. And I just want to thank you again. I want to thank Jeff. Jeff Jeff was with me when I got the call over at Mid-Atlantic Craps. Everybody knows Jeff. Jeff was with me, and I appreciated him being able to just to just be with me as I gathered up my belongings to get on the road because obviously I had to get home as soon as possible. I want to thank Gargoyle for listening to me talk, keep me sane as I drove. And I want to thank 10 Ton as number one, my partner on the uh, podcast. He also spent a lot of time with me on the phone as I drove. And uh, all of them have talked to me numerous times this week. And I do appreciate, you know, John putting the word out uh, for our wishes that if you wanted to make a donation or instead of lieu of flowers, that kind of thing. And I know that we had two, we had two different charities for veterans uh, dealing with different avenues and problems in their life from deployments. <clears throat> Both are great. Um, but I appreciate y'all, and I appreciate everybody who's, who's watched videos. I appreciate my Patreons being um, – my Patreon membership people have been understanding that obviously I haven't been able to put out any material this week. One of the things that I am working on and will probably occupy my time with today is uh, we've got another Tales from the Table coming uh, with Bo Parker. And this is a dual effort between myself and Ten Ton at, at uh, Casino Tears. Uh, part of his interview is on the podcast currently, and I want to put the balance or put the entire thing together as part of that uh, tribute to the legends of this game and Tales from the Table on the YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully, I'll announce a premiere that should be within the next couple of weeks, I think. I hope. Until then, everyone, I appreciate you all. God bless you. Thank you for your prayers. Prayers are what my family needs. Prayers are what all our veterans going through, what my son went through, need. Uh, thank you all for your service. If you're out there listening, well, I appreciate you. And all of his battles, as they call themselves, that have written us notes and written him notes, always said, Till Valhalla. Till we meet again, my friends.